buddies. Oh yes. Meal prepping. Mm-hmm. Meat has been preserved. Lunch for another day. Coming off a pretty tremendous catfish and white bass uh, multi-species adventure. It is cool this morning, it feels wonderful. And I just got done cleaning catfish and putting them up in the fridge. I still got catfish goo on me. So it was about this time last year when I got diagnosed with brain tumor, old Willis. That was a rough time. It was also a blessing though in the way that I was able to grow as a person. Still to this day, I think about life differently. You know, when you have something so crazy like that that happens where you know that life could be shut off any day any minute when you have something so close to your vital organs and veins that if something just goes wrong you're done you start to think in a different light you don't sweat the small stuff little arguments and things that you might have uh, beforehand you just don't do those anymore you're just happy to be alive be going every day it also strengthened my faith and it brought me closer to all of you guys. So, a year later, even though that was probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me, it could also have been one of the best things that's happened to me. So when I wake up now and I look in the mirror, I don't see the dramatic results like all of you guys saw after my brain surgery where I look like Dagum Frankenstein and I have all of that all that blood and fluid in, in my face and my eye. I mean all I have now is just the numbness feeling on the side of my head right here. I often catch myself just rubbing right here going, man, that's just, I don't know. Like when I'm sitting there thinking, I always just do this because it's its weird. It's like a, a, a numb patch. But the scar, the scar you can barely tell. I mean, Dr. Kim did a phenomenal job. My hair is growing in through it. There's a little bit of a part there that's kind of funky, but other than that, I'm good. Now about three or four months after the surgery, I hadn't had any headaches or problems up until about a month ago when it started getting super hot. And I was just out in the sun quite a bit and that might have triggered some of my headaches, but it's always in that, that same area behind my eye. And that was the first time I remembered, oh yeah, yeah, I still got a tumor in there. And I wanted to clear that up because I've met so many of y'all since that. I was super pleased with the surgery and how things went, obviously. I mean, look at me. I'm as handsome as ever. But seriously, I haven't had like any major reminders, you know, like any type of seizures or anything like that post the surgery. But what I haven't talked about a whole lot is what is the status of Willis now, a year later? And we'll find out more for sure very soon but today i have to go get an mri and that mri is is then going to be taken to dr kim or who i'm going to see so i'm going to take you guys along for that and that's when we'll really know what is going on uh if if the second treatment is going to be happening how, how they're going to do it it, it would not be an, another brain surgery at least i hope not it would be some sort of radiation treatment a precise radiation treatment i kind of think of willis as an old beat up bully right now you know he was giving me a lot of problems now he's just beat up he's it's like Voldemort you know in the in the shrunken form that he is and often I forget he's in there until I have to go for these scans you know every uh, few months or so and the last time we were at the doctor I was kind of shocked to see how much Willis was left in there There's some scar tissue and some tumors some areas they just couldn't touch because it's is on the bundle of nerves, the bundle of Willis, and uh, carotid artery and optic nerves. It's just things you don't touch. So I think the goal here is we're gonna see which direction Willis is still growing, and uh, if he's growing in a consistent direction, we're gonna hit him with radiation. We're gonna zap him and, and end his life. Just not in mine. Sometimes I debate even talking about it anymore because I, I just, I like to put it behind me, but I know me having the tumor has actually helped a lot of people in a lot of different ways. And uh, I've gotten to meet a lot of you. I love when someone says, hey, I caught a fish because you showed me this technique. And that feels really good. But when someone says, I have, a, I have this problem, it may not even be a tumor. It may not even be, it's, it's some sort of problem. Hey, I'm getting through it because I'm watching your attitude and it's, it's helping me get through this. That makes me feel like I'm 
doing a good job as a human being. So that's the reason I want to share all this. Once you just got to set up with an MRI, we'll talk about it more, but I got to clean up the rest of my catfishing guts and stuff before the sun gets out. It gets really hot, so that's gross. Very strong stash today. I daggum smell like catfish so bad. This is going to be embarrassing. Yeah, I it's, think smell you in the car. I know. It's nothing like bass. Like bass is a sweet smell. Catfish is like a slimy goo. Right now we're on the way to the MRI place. This is our you know, every few months routine. We're all over here. I sit in this tube thing and I scan my face. It takes a long time. It takes like 20 minutes inside of this tube and it's like the loudest thing ever. They put these little earphones in that aren't really earphones. They're like airphones because it can't have any metal in there. They don't really work that good. Last time they just didn't work at all, so all I heard was bah, 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 bah. Any of y'all have ever been in one of those, you understand what I'm talking about. So if you're wondering if we're gonna find out anything today, we're not. We're gonna just get scanned and then the professionals are gonna look at it. And I gotta get another needle in my arm, I'm sure. <laughs> I've been stuck so many Great times mistakes. in the last year. I'm just like used to getting stuck. I think I'm right there with you. On, You've been getting stuck a lot the too. The amount of times I've been stuck in the last pregnancy game. Medical hazards over here. Yeah, throw us some soy and some peanuts and we got a real mess on our hands. They stuck me. They stuck me in my arm. That lady that stuck my arm, she did such a good job. You know, I've been stuck so many times um, and I didn't even feel that one. She was just like, I'm gonna put it right in there. Is that good? She did a great job. It's so weird, the taste. I actually got a weird smell this time. It's like a saline solution they put in there before they put in like the uh, the contrast. Which I don't know, what is contrast? It's like, well it's to make the, I guess your veins uh, appear. But what the, is it in there? It's some type of metallic, like metal. Metal? That just doesn't sound good for you. I think it's a blue dye type thing, or some type of dye. Just doesn't sound good at all. Let me put some Sharpie juice in my veins <laughs> so you guys can see what's going on in my brain. <gasps> that was a rhyme. Now we just have to leave it to the professionals to look at it and and see what's going on. They gave us all the images on a disc. If you and I were to sit down and look at these things together, we probably wouldn't. I, I know a little bit because I've looked at them, but you'd go, what? What in the world going on in there? It looks like a daggum swirly poop. I hope they say he's 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 dead. He's shriveled up. He's he's just going down. Looks like OSG's plants in the summertime. <laughs> that's probably true. Yeah, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for everything that's going on. It's all good. I'm feeling fine. This time last year, I felt like a a crusty old pine cone. It was like a bus hit you on the side was, of the head. It was a, a stopping point in life. It was like. Psh! Stop for a minute, here's what's going on. And it was so hot, it was exactly a year. Cause I remember my birthday, I was going to the doctor and they said, you're gonna have some brain surgery. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What do shepherds eat? They eat pie. I'm not saying I'm a shepherd. I don't even know why they call it shepherd's pie. Someone let us know in the comments. We're gonna try some of this. Now, the reason I'm showing you this, there's all sorts of wild game happening around here. My goal is to make this place an organic tree house. There's nothing but just organic meats going on. There's deer meat. There's hog meat. There's chickens. There's babies. There's, well, we don't eat babies. <laughs> We're not gonna eat babies. And this, this deliciousness right here, this is one of Stephanie's, uh, her latest creations. But anyway, she made it from the hog sausage from the hog I killed uh, this past spring. We're running a little low on deer. That's okay, we're gonna take care of that this fall. Of course, little Emmy's gonna be here right during deer season, right when bow season comes around. And the Amazon trips. Ooh, right there at the boat. I'm gonna miss some great outdoorness because of our daughter that's on the way. I'll make sure to remind her of that when she's older, but it's gonna be an extreme blessing. We've gone from thought we were gonna die to Having more babies. It was a questionable doubt there for a second. Oh yeah. We all, no one wanted to say it, but we all thought it. Anyway, OSG does an amazing job. Loves her kitchen. This is one of the main reasons we got this house and she cooks, she whips it up all the time. I'm extremely blessed to have this in my life. Keep this tummy fed so you can keep creating fishing videos. <laughs> oh gosh, it's my dream girl right there. Look at her. 
She's going to water her plants after I said that. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, she's watering her plants. I always have to remind her because they get a little crusty. I'm like, babe, have you watered your plants today? She's not exactly a green thumb, but don't tell her I said that. Why do they call it shepherd's pie? Well, shepherd's pie is traditionally made with lamb, but we don't have lamb. So really it can just be used with any type of meat that you want. We gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, water those plants. <laughs> Clean it! Do I get an LFG approval? Oh, absolutely on that one. Okay. Delicious. Well, that one's actually a subscriber special recipe, so it's not on my blog. But if you're a subscriber to the Healthy Chew, you should have gotten it already. Shameless plug! She went for it. I'll allow it, because I love you. <laughs> the day is reaching a close. We've gotten our MRI. I've gotten some things off my chest with you guys. We've reminisced. And there's one more thing I gotta do. You know how I do it here at the treehouse, guys. Wood all the time, wood projects. Look at the house, mostly wood. Gotta work on that wood. I gotta work on Emery's room a little bit. I don't know if you guys have really seen that on this channel. I've showed it on the Lake Life family channel, but not really on this channel. Let me show you what's going on in there. This is little Emmy's room, and she's gotten tons of clothes. Look, she got a diaper cake. She's got her little antler set up with her flowers. Clothes and blankets galore. We got OSG's little nursing area. Look at that, someone set that in. Thank you guys. And of course we have her crib. And then this is my contribution. So since I built myself a wood wall, I figured I'd go ahead and build Emery one too. And she can put her little mounts up there, her little fish. Looks like it needs a walleye. This thing looks like it belongs in a cabin or something. But oh, she's gonna paint it up. You guys can follow along on this uh, on our Lake Life channel, if you'd like. There's one more step to do on this before we proceed to the other stuff. And I've gotten that honeydew dialed in. Gotten the order called in, and that is to add the last baseboard right here. It's gotta be special cut, though. And then I need a molding at the top. Molding I can do right now. That's easy. So we're gonna do that. Question, what kind of molding did you want? We don't have molding. <laughs> There's literally no molding there. There's no molding. But something to match the molding that we already have. Cabin-like, not too fancy. Just a piece of wood, basically. Basically. Got it. <laughs> I never get tired of walking by old Mondo. Hey, Big Sally. How you doing today? You good? Still haven't caught up to that bluegill yet, huh? That's all right, you will one day. Funny thing about that little scene is we actually know that they'll eat cut up bluegill that's on a bright chartreuse line and a giant hook in the water. Oh my God, no, no way! <laughs> yeah. Let's see, what should we go with? Freaks, it's been one year since we got diagnosed with old Willis. We've had some trials and tribulations, but I think we've come out on top. The renewal of life has happened. So thank you guys for all of the support and being here. Of course, I will keep you updated on Willis. When we see what's going on inside of there, I will let you know, believe me, I'm ready to know myself. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. And if you want to check out even more stuff with Baby, The House, and Willis, you can subscribe to the Lake Life family channel. Until next time, Fish and Freaks, we love you. Thanks for being here, and we'll see ya. Quite honestly, usually, correct me if I'm wrong, it's better for you. It's higher protein. It's less fat. It's, she's just stuffing her face. <laughs> <laughs>